Official sources seem to indicate that A.K. Yearling, the adventurous archaeologist behind the persona of Daring Do, once encountered a creature of seemingly Lovecraftian nature. Sadly, the details of this encounter remain ambiguous, as does the beast's exact appearance. But that hasn't stopped us from having a go at reconstructing what it may have looked like. As promised, here we shall go over all of the entries to the Beast From Beyond art contest. Before we do so, however, a brief honourable mention, as I don't think I sufficiently discussed Mana Minori's extremely detailed version from the last video. Their interpretation of the Beast is that such a creature may have originated from beyond Equestria rather than beyond the planet itself, as commonly assumed. The subsequent design seems to combine eastern dragons with chimeras and still manages to look like nothing Equestria has ever seen before. Honestly, I think it's a really good design in its own right. Now, on to the contest. Firstly, we have one from another friend of the channel, Buttery Biscuit, who despite being ill, managed to sketch out a misshapen conglomeration of body parts with massive amorphous eyes. When asked about giving commentary, Buttery said she preferred to let the implications speak for themselves. Needless to say, if anything's gonna give Daring Do nightmares, that'd do it. Then from LZH1703, we get something a little bit more mysterious, interpreted as an encounter with something shrouded in darkness the vaguely reptilian jaws and pitch black eyes giving us our only tangible glimpse. As the original artist explained, their interpretation was to lean into the sense of incomprehensibility, hiding the true nature of the beast while still giving a clue as to its sheer size. The next one comes from Taz, or Oakham on YouTube, while they didn't provide much information, we do know they took some inspiration from the game Risk of Rain 2 for the design. The result very much fits the idea of something alien. Our next submission comes from Cinder, aka Dumb Bunny Owo. <laughs> this one's actually an old original character of theirs, a monstrous half pony creature called Lisha capable of pulling innocent victims into its realm through mirrors, as well as TV screens. Now, the idea that the Beast from Beyond might have something to do with mirrors is actually not completely out of the question. The image accompanying the description of the Beast includes an old mirror of some type, clearly an artifact held within her collection, and literally the only identifiable background object visible. Whether or not it is truly relevant remains ambiguous, though the notion of mirrors as gateways to another realm would be somewhat fitting. Now we arrive at the second highest voted submission, from the artist Pink Escapade. Leaning into the Lovecraft inspiration, we see a ponified variation of the latter's most famous creation. Such a depiction naturally conjures up visions of Daring herself traversing impossible architecture amidst her panicked attempt at escape. Certainly, if this is what Daring encountered, she really is lucky to have survived. But of course, there can only be one winner, and that winner, as voted on by watchers, is... Not entirely surprising, it's Marzipan Studios. Commenting later on her design, she would give a pretty in-depth explanation as to her thought process. The design takes influence from headcrabs for the earthly tones with blood imagery, lamprey eels for the mouth and tongue, and of course, octopuses, encapsulating elements of philosophobia, one of my main phobias, and some unearthly or unsettling creatures, mainly within the sea. The ears and horns have equestrian influence. As noted, the creature is blind, kind of like the Warden from Minecraft, relying on sound, hence why it was easy for AK to escape, but no doubt frightening. The little pumpkin shape could also explode with many offsprings at any moment, similar to when spiders reproduce. Congratulations to Marzipan Studios on winning the Beast from Beyond art contest, and thank you to everyone who participated in any way. Let me know if you'd like us to do more of these in the future, and happy Nightmare Night.